Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie Outlaw. I'm back with another word this week. So if you are similar to me, this has been a very quickly evolving week, weeks, months, end of the year, all the things, right? I have to start with saying that all is well, all is good. It's just very productive. I'm going to honestly just use this as like a journal entry brain dump emotional like freeing space this is not necessarily a prophetic word this is not something that god specifically downloaded to me i think that there will be relatable things that i say within the video but overall i really just wanted to like be transparent and like this is where i'm at this week one because i want to remain consistent and faithful um, as like I develop my fruit and develop this channel and then two um, I think that's really it those are the two things I want to be faithful for one and um, to God's call for me to be obedient to this platform and then two, like just showing up helps me be committed to me um, and it goes right along with the word for this week so let's talk I like I said this has been a great season so many lessons back to back very quick i know with time change everyone's feeling it but i honestly think it is a spiritual shift i feel like we are in a time where spiritually there's just a lot moving removing adding dividing subtracting multiplication all the things and so um i feel like I'm just going to speak freely, but add we, because I feel like we are divinely connected for a reason. Um, but I do feel like we are in a season where we have worked on so many things, like we've work, been working our land and plowing and just working our, our territory. And some of that has looked like repetitive cycles, but I really just feel it in my spirit. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you would just give me the right wording because I can feel it. I just need help in knowing how to say it um, and be able to like convey what I'm saying correctly. But I just feel like these cycles are, some cycles are reappearing. But what I'm feeling in my spirit today is like God just pressing and saying that like, what if I told you that the focus is not on the cycles, the missed opportunities, the sin, the failures. It's on how you get back up and how you respond to those things. I feel like I'm learning that that time is like a little, it's a jab that the enemy can take. So if we in the past, I'll speak for myself here and if you agree, just hop on the spiritual train with your girl. In the past, I've... I would strive, 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 do everything perfect, be the perfect Christian girl. Wasn't drinking, wasn't smoking, wasn't clubbing, wasn't entertaining people at shitty. I was working out and eating right and tithing. Like you get in that role of like, check, 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 check. And you like chug it for a minute, right? And then something happens. Maybe you snap on somebody, uh, you, don't tithe or you don't manage your money well or you fall into x sin or whatever it is and in the past i would sit there for so long it would be like god would be on this side wow for real the cartoons god would be on this side the devil and devils would be on this side and as soon as i would sin i would kind of just quiet this voice and turn and listen to what the enemy had to say because i felt like the enemy oh jesus that is so good i felt like the enemy was more of a reflection of me um, and vice versa than god that gives me goosebumps it makes me want to cry i think that when we get in those spaces of feeling like failures feeling like we're not good enough for god battling with feeling like we're unworthy even in scriptures it's like it can feel like a pull of like you're worthy you're not worthy um you're not good enough i shed my blood for you like there can be that that pull but overarching is this overarching is this theme that god is faithful and 
He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our safe place. He is our rock. And what he wants us to do is to turn to him um, because he is our father. So even in those moments of darkness, sin, the valleys, not, you know, stewarding the projects he's given us completely, 100% the way that we want to, but still working towards it, right? When we fail, I'm finding the importance in like, that doesn't mean get up and just don't try and, you know, don't strive for better, which I know that we all know that, but it means who do we see our reflection in? Do we see our reflection in Christ even in our failure? Do we see that he shed his blood for us? He died at Calvary. He went through all of this trauma and different things for our very sins, for the areas that we fall short in, knowing that we we're going to fall short in these areas. Or do we turn to the enemy because we know that the enemy was rejected. We know that the enemy was kicked out of heaven. We know that the enemy is our enemy. And so knowing where to turn in this season, and I'm still getting goosebumps, but knowing where to turn is really what I am focusing on. I'm focusing on self-acceptance and grace and being patient in love and being kind to myself when I'm not perfect and being kind to others when they're not perfect because none of us are and I just wanted to get on here because if I'm being very transparent I have not been perfect with my time this week and with um, just the management of resources I would say and just energy um, and so right before I was about to film I was like I'm not, I, I can't even remember the thought now. God don't even really want me to focus on it. But I pretty much had a thought of like, I'm not even going to do it because I hadn't prepared well. Or I felt like I hadn't prepared well. But I find in this video, God has been speaking. And there's so much grace in his presence. And so I hope the same for you. I hope that you see that. I hope that you see that in your failures, in your pauses, in your setbacks that it's really God's bringing you forward. It's just up to us when we make that connection. How long are we going to stay on the demonic dark side that wants to tell us that we're not good enough to go back to our God? And I'm going to end it with Matthew 10, 14. Let me get my version because I know God has assigned me to read from New Living Translation. So... Matthew 10 14 if any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message shake its dust from your feet as you leave so this means having a spirit of urgency to transition um, when things do not accept you as you are as God's child when you fail or you struggle or things don't go as planned and um, you don't feel like you're at your best and other, whether that's the enemy, other people, whatever it is, if they refuse to welcome you at that point, welcome that you are loved by Christ, that you are accepted, you're not forgotten. Anything, all of these message, messages directly oppose what the enemy tells us. We're not good enough. We're not loved. Are we really God's child? Does he really care about us? Will he really accept us back in? Like those are the messages that don't welcome us right and this scripture is saying that um even if the in these times when it's hard to battle it if we can't even fight it with our voice and with fighting it off right we shake its dust from our feet and we leave as we're leaving not even like all right i'm gonna shake my dust and then leave again this is saying shake the dust as you're leaving so that means you don't accept it you're not welcoming it you're not listening bet i'm gonna leave and i think we have to make that connection in so many areas of our lives friendships jobs careers finances um in ourselves in our relationship with god so prioritizing that when it's time to dip we don't have to even stop and wipe our hands we are walking and wiping our hands as we go 
I love you guys. You're so worthy. You're so awesome. I pray that you have so many breakthroughs and blessings this week. If you are not a part of the newsletter, please hop on. Um, one of the things I'm working on getting together now is the prayer group. We will be live this Saturday. Let me see if I can give you a date. Today is Tuesday the 14th. We will be live. It don't want to change. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Saturday is the 18th. So on 11 18 at 10 a.m mountain time um we will be having our prayer group i really am just opening up the space there's been a few people that have signed up but again learning to dust stuff off and keep it going um so yes if you're not a part of the newsletter go to my website link is in the description below let's get connected and i hope you guys have a beautiful week love you guys bye